So my name is Stephen Bird. I'm standing in Enfield North for Reform UK. And what is it that drew you? What would be the top three issues, would you say? The, the, well, the top three issues for joining Reform were, I felt that the Conservatives weren't really being Conservative. Um, Labour, after, under Corbyn, really had moved away from the original, the old Labour, as it was. Um, and I just felt, I was looking around at all the party manifestos, what they were saying and what they were doing, and I didn't really feel that any of them represented what I felt. And then what I did, I found the Reform Party, I looked at their sort of draft manifesto, and I went through it, and I was thinking, yes, I agree with that, I agree with that, I agree with that, and I just thought it was a very, very good fit, which is why I joined the Reform. Uh, and then, why did, I, why did I want to become a candidate? There was uh, an email went out to say who would like to be a candidate, and I thought to myself, well, there's no point me just sort of uh, wanting to vote for people. The best way to do it is to get out there and help uh, sort of change the agenda and uh, move, move, get other people involved. So, and that's why I thought it was a long process, lots of interviews, you know, they, they have to do lots of background checks. And I was really, really happy when I got uh, selected to represent Enfield, which I was born, bred, went to school, uh, grew up there. Um, I always thought it's a lovely place to live. Uh, it's got sort of a bit of everything. It's sort of close to London. You can get to central London in no time at all. It's by the countryside. It's got lots, lots of like, green belts. Uh, there's lots to see, lots to do. It's like a fantastic place to live. And I was thinking, well, if, if I'm going to represent anywhere, then I can think of anywhere better. And you've seen the way that the country's been going, and yes. Enfield included. Last 14 years of Tories, yes. and what was it, uh, 13 years of Labour before. Yes. What have you seen? Have you seen changes in the country? The, well, I think one of the big things is, for well, the last five years, the Conservatives, is they got elected to basically do one thing, and then they did the opposite. And I think that's what's really annoyed me and you know, millions of other people in the country. So it's you know, it, people who are natural Conservatives, they're really unhappy about the Conservatives not being Conservative. The natural Labour voters who moved from Labour to the Conservatives, because they much preferred Boris to Corbyn, then they're looking at them and thinking, well, that, they're not doing what they said they were going to do. So they said they were going to be sort of low tax, low immigration, high growth, low debt. They had all these promises and they basically um, didn't do any of them. And admittedly, there was a few things like COVID which came along, which was would have been really difficult for any government, basically having to borrow 400 billion pounds. Um, that was all got to be paid back at some point. Uh, and then there's the war in Ukraine, there's all for, uh, energy price issues. So th there, there was lots and lots of issues that they had, but looking back, I, I felt there was lots and lots of things they could have done better, that they should have done better, that people like me and you know, millions of people like me were saying, no, you're getting it wrong, you should be doing this better, and they just weren't. And Nigel's now calling himself the leader of the opposition. <coughs> yes. He's the unofficial leader of the opposition, yes. you might say. Yes. Um, <coughs> If you do manage to get in as an MP, yes. or you get some of your candidates in, how do you think that's going to change things? Well, it's at the moment, looking at Labour, Conservative, Lib Dems, SNP, that they all have a very, very similar view of the country and how the country should be run, which is great for like the Westminster bubble and sort of the inner London bubble, but it, there are literally millions and millions of people in the country who don't think like that and those people need a voice and that's what Nigel is going to do and all the other reform candidates and we want to make sure that even if Labour do get a majority the substantial minority have to have a voice in Parliament because otherwise it's just not that's not really how democracy should be working you can go to the reformparty.uk website if you click on find my PPC go down to London go down to Enfield North you can see my details, uh, you can email me at enfieldnorth at reformuk.com or phone me on my number, it's on the website. Uh, and we've got a, a leafleting team going out, so they're going out every day doing different parts of Enfield. We're doing you know, targeted marketing. Uh, and then you can join us doing campaigning, you can do uh, door knocking, trying to persuade people to join reform, uh, support reform. We're, we're doing a few street stalls, uh, hopefully we'll be uh, taking part in some, some of the hustings uh, and just generally 
wherever we go, we are getting loads and loads of people being really, really positive about reform. Because basically we're saying the things that they're, they're saying and they're thinking, but none of the other parties are. And, and that's why we're doing so well in the polls.